you don't suck at growing your business. You're just not using the most powerful thing you can use to grow your business. In this video, I'm going to show you what that most powerful thing is, as well as an easy three-step process so you can use that to grow your business. My name is Alex Morgan, and I help you boost your business and boost your business fast. And I also help you get rid of limiting beliefs because you were born limitless, and it's time to be limitless again. So what is that most powerful thing? How would you like to use something over and over so you get predictable results so that every month you know that you can get these results? Because why leave success up to chance? And that most powerful thing, it's the most powerful thing I think in the entire world. It's your mind. It's your unconscious mind. Many people, they're running on past programming. So what does that mean? It's like if you were to go somewhere for a party and let's say you go back so many years and you're there and you have old technology or let's say you go out into the future and you're at a party and then they're starting up a projector and on that projector it has some old windows software it wouldn't make any sense would it so why try to run your business with old software in your mind so it's time to boost that to put in new programs so like i said there's an easy three-step process so what are these three steps the first step to using your mind in the most powerful way to get predictable results is you need to get rid of negative emotions and limiting beliefs or limiting decisions so typically negative emotions can include things like anger sadness fear hurt guilt so if you can get to the root cause of those emotions then you'll be able to learn from those events and the learning that will allow you to easily and effortlessly in the future change the meaning of your whole life because when you get rid of negative emotions you change the meaning of your whole life it doesn't mean that those events are gone what happens though is instead of anger or sadness or fear or guilt being tied to those events it's new emotions with new learnings so there's not that negative a charge you won't have to repress those negative emotions anymore down in your body which could eventually cause harm and this causes inner conflict because there's going to be one part of you that's angry one part of you that feels something else and you're going to be conflicted and that causes you to not take so much action and also you have to get rid of limiting decisions or limiting beliefs at some point in your life if you don't feel 100 percent full belief in yourself then you probably have some limiting decisions some common ones i don't deserve it i can't make enough money i'm not good enough i don't love myself i'm not capable of whatever it is so if you have these limiting beliefs you need to get rid of them there's an easy way to do that you can ask yourself when did i decide this what can I learn from this? And what can I do instead? This will help you flip your mind into thinking, what can you do instead of believing this? And make that belief really empowering. And you'll start to notice change. People around you will start to notice change. So you need to put effort into your mind every single day. And it's easy to put effort in your mind. You just have to ask yourself a couple of questions. And another way to kind of put effort into it is at night. So when you go through your day, you can do a review of your day. And you can imagine yourself floating up, kind of like above a timeline of the day. And looking at what happened, if there was any bad emotions or things that limited you throughout the day, look at those, think what you can learn from those, and just release it. And do that about an hour before you go to sleep. And over time, you'll notice that you're cleaning up your day every single day. And what will that do? That will leave room for all the good stuff that you want. So it's really important that you get rid of negative emotions and limiting beliefs. So the second step, you need to take action. So I mentioned already a couple actions that you can do. However, you need to take action towards what you want so that means you need to actually focus more on what you want an example of that is let's say someone says i want to make money however maybe they're focused on losing all their money or poverty 
eventually guess what they're gonna lose all their money so you need to focus towards what you want as you're taking action it doesn't have to be huge actions it can be small little things that you consistently do every day and the wonderful thing about the unconscious mind is it loves incremental change so even if you take small steps it's going to get used to that and then that's going to turn into big changes and the other thing the unconscious mind does is it starts to generalize so once it sees success let's say in your business you're taking small steps in your business it starts to generalize and then it'll want success in your within your family relationships your personal relationships and your spirituality and your personal growth and your fitness and your health so that's a wonderful thing you start to make small incremental changes in one area of life and the unconscious mind says hey let's do that over here let's get you nice strong and fit and healthy so when you take action there's many benefits you'll want success everywhere and you'll want to be around people that are successful and the third step is focus on what you want you need to give yourself good suggestions powerful empowering suggestions to your unconscious mind and you do this by focusing on what you want remember the example earlier if you're going for money think of money don't think of poverty because eventually you're going to be moving all the way over to money and then once you kind of get into the middle you're going to be so focused on poverty it's going to pull you back towards poverty pull you back towards poverty however if you're focused on money it's going to allow you to go all the way over there and another good way to focus on what you want is you can focus on your values so let's say you're achieving something in your business you say what's important about achieving this specific thing and when you ask yourself this question write down the answers and those answers are going to be values and values are things that we put time money energy we put all our resources into achieving them and values they also show us what's appropriate to us what's right for us and at the end of the day they motivate us and when we're motivated our unconscious mind is the goal getter it's going to want to get that goal so the three steps get rid of negative emotions get rid of limiting beliefs take action and focus on what you want this will get you success and this will get you predictable results because your unconscious mind it needs repetition to make those habits really ingrained so the more you do this the more predictable things come and the more you will feel good as you're doing I was just walking outside the other day and I thought gosh I feel really good about a certain aspect of my life and it feels easy it feels effortless I don't have to actually put in all this energy to do something that's because my unconscious mind is programmed to take action and focus on what I want in this specific area of life so if you want help to do that as well so things are easy and effortless for you because why would you want them to be hard you don't need to hustle you don't need to grind you don't need to do all those things that you see online you need to just put a little effort in your mind so if you want help with that go ahead and reach out to me all my information is in the description of the episode if you haven't already go ahead and like the episode go ahead and comment about what you want to achieve and subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you on the next video